Welcome to the Glad Rap channel and my special guest commentator Julius Tower in the Fenno Long. Here we are at the ABA uh, Auckland Boxing Centre tonight, December the 9th. Trans Tasman rivalry. We've got tonight on our second fight of the night representing New Zealand, Sam Clark. Sam has uh, some 40 plus fights. He comes out of Canterbury and he's going to be facing Yanni Parako. Parakos. Some 30 plus fights from uh, Yan Yanni, and he's a Golden Glove champion. And he's happened to be 6'4 in height, so we're looking for to be some big boys in here in the ring. I'm guessing this is the heavyweight division, I guess, huh? 64 kg. 64 kg. No, that's not. Sorry, Sam, Sam's 5'11, and uh, Yanni's. Uh, Five six. Oh, five six. Paracos. So Paracos. Sam Clark's definitely got the height advantage. Not Sam not Clark is coming out with speed oh. and aggression, but and he, he just a left hook. mean uppercut to the face. This uh, Julius. This looks like one of those fights uh, that's uh, been already warmed up in the microwave previous uh, to starting. Yeah, it's like a hot pocket. It's coming out fresh oh, and boy. ready. These boys look like they've been working it up, and they actually did get a sweat on. They came out very fast and aggressive. Both both guys throwing power shots as well. Big Sam Clark is out there, and he's popping that jab aggressively. Little left hook there from uh, Pirani. Paraco, should I say? Paraco coming from out of Australia. I believe he's got some good hand speed in there, we, and we just seen that just right there by him throwing a left hook to the body and the right upstairs. He's got. A, he's put some nice combinations together for an amateur. And then he gets straight out of the uh, straight out of the oven once he throws those punches. Absolutely, he's in and out, and the referee is just warning him right now, letting him know, hey, keep it up, keep those shots up. How do you like when he comes out, though, Julius? Is he coming out just a little bit straight? Is he is he available for a counter punch from uh, from Sam Clark? He's absolutely uh, vulnerable for that counter punch for sure because he's coming down and taking a peekaboo stance out and looking to see with his hands down what's going on after the fact. And, he, and just as I said that he caught a mean uppercut coming in. He did. By Sam Clark. And he throws strike back combinations of his own. Working the body. And there's the referee warning him again, hey, keep those hands up, bro. And I thought this, that was a little this, tough. This, I felt that was on the belt line. This guy got some pair too. He wants to go home with him. <laughs> Sam Clark looking to fire that jab out. Uses height, uses oh, reach. Oh, he just took a mean right hand to the face. Force, forced back onto the ropes by those shots. I am liking Sam's jab. It is pretty uh, aggressive. He did. Oh, oh, he just ate a mean right hand over the top. I've got to ask. They've both hit each other flush, and they don't seem to have moved each other. Have these boys got power? Or I believe it's there's some power there, most definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how much um, Australia is bringing the power by uh, per Perus. Paracos. Paracos. Or Yanni. Something like the Holocaust, huh? <laughs> Paracos. Sam Clark still trying to use that jab. Keep the range, keep the distance. He is the bigger fighter. He's trying to fight like a big fighter, too, by just constantly winging that jab. I think he's exerting a lot of energy oh. by just standing there and moving around, though. Gets hit by the jab himself. Lots of punches thrown in this round. These guys came out on fire. They came out with a hot pocket. Oh, Ooh, look at the shove. That's the shove. And who does that? Oh, they don't do that in the amateurs. <laughs> he just shoved them. They, I haven't seen that in the amateurs in a while. Who, who you got to give that one to? Oh, I don't know. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, they both came out with spitting fire and was ready to go on that one. It was a little... I, I, if I if I had to if I was forced into it I think Paracos landed the slightly cleaner punches. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I could see Sam Clark looking to use that jab, but he he didn't fire a, a, a sort of a, a right hand off of it, which I would have liked to have seen. Yeah, you're right on that one. Um, Sam was tossing the jab out in the beginning of that first round and making himself look good and establishing himself, but at the end of that fight, uh, Paracos. Um, actually stepped up his game and started hitting him, Sam with some really big overhands and left hooks. And, and he started, he landed a few jabs of his own. Yeah, absolutely. I think he was the busier fighter to win that fight for Australia on this one, for that, for that round. Close round, though. Definitely a close round. We might have another one of those split decision fights again mm. with this one. Oh, oh, there he goes, right off hands. the back with that overhand right. He needs to turn that overhand right over a little bit more and then put a left hook right behind it. Perikos is keeping that left hand low, though. That must be inviting for a right hand for Sam Clark. Yeah, Sam's just ba now just basically fighting him off and trying to keep him at bay with that jab and hoping for the best. I wish you, I wish Sam would actually put way more power behind that right hand and keep his and keep those hands up a little higher because he's constantly eating the overhand right and it could be a bad night for him. Oh, to the keeping, right hand to the body from Sam Clark. Yeah, Sam Clark's just keeping that jab just way too low. He's getting that overhand right, right over the top. As I said it, there it goes, right over the top. A little bit scuffed up over his right eye as well. Uh, just as I say that, he throws a nice jab, Sam Clark. There's only so much punishment you can take, Sam. Another right hand from Paracos. Paracos is actually moving with some... Oh, oh nice right, right, hand. right hand. Nice right hand by Paracos. He's actually moving very good in this ring for the second round. He's, telling, he's building his confidence really well. He's got his hands down low and really just slipping the jab over. Oh, oh he just made a man took right a right hand, hand Sam. there. Sam that, with a nice right that hand. That low there. left hand eventually cost him. Has that, has that changed the momentum? Sam Clark there with another right hand. Yeah, yeah. I, I said he needed to put a little bit more power behind that right hand for Sam. And he actually stepped his game up and tried to fight in there now a little harder. Both guys dig into the body. And he got a little warning by the ref for digging into the body a little too aggressive, I guess. That's a shame to me. I thought I thought punches in, in that uh, exchange were all on the belt line. Uh, I like to see body work. Uh, I, I love to see a body work. I like to see the George Foreman type of Joe Frazier body work. Those old guys that really meant something back in the day. Sam Clark looking for that right hand again. Couldn't quite land it. Nice jab for Sam Clark. He seems to be having a better second half of this round. Finds yeah. a right hand again. Digs to the body. Yeah, digs to the body. Sam now. is throwing some mean shots, but it, it, the fight's not over until the bell ends. Does Paragos look a little bit tired from his exertion from the start of this round? He, he looks like a little bit gassed at this point. He does have a little swelling around both eyes, too. Oh, Sam Clark hits with the right hand, goes to the body again. Left hook to the body. Paracos, oh, oh. another right hand himself. These guys must be hitting like flies with all these power <laughs> shots hitting. Real back and forth action here. I think you could swat a fly harder than that. <laughs> Paracos has actually got him against the ropes. Sam against the road, he pulls himself off the ropes, throws a mean right hand to the body, mean right hand up top, and he's flickering with Whoa. the jab, loading up on the, loading him up on him on the ropes, just loading him up, the loading him up. Caracol's looking quite fatigued there. Sam probably going to be very tired after this round. He's did a whole lot in this fight for this round. Sam Clark though, investing to the body. How much does it, Julius? How much does it tire a guy when he? How much does it take a lot out of a fighter when he gets? Constantly hit to the body, though. Oh, you're extremely tired. Going, getting hit to the body takes a lot out of you, and going to somebody's body to, to earn that round, to earn those punches like Sam did, it takes a lot of energy out of your body. Period. You know, so I believe Sam's going to come out and probably have a slow round this third round because he worked very hard that round right there. Personally, so, I, I like the early work of Perikos in that and that start of that second round, but I thought. Sam Clark came came down the end of that second round like a freight train. He brought the bread home. On the, if, he, if his daddy was a baker and told him to bring the bread home, he brought it home that time. The baker's doesn't. <laughs> yeah, they, there wasn't no Krispy Kreme donuts going on there, bro. And a couple of croissants thrown in. <laughs> he brought the bread home, Sam. Way to go, Sam. You brought the bread home for that round. He, he dug in. I, I have to give Sam that second round. 
and I thought he has the momentum. Can he keep that momentum up? Can Paracos find a second win? He looks a little tired. I think he might get a good start, but I think he might die down, and I think this might be Paracos' round. Paracos as I, as I said, that he's coming out, and he took that round off, and now he's becoming a throw, throw a lot of more punches. I think Sam might have been just gassed out now and don't have it anymore. That, that last round was a hard round for Sam. I think he might be gassed out after that. Pericos, though, he does come in with his, his hands low. He's available to a counter shot. That right hand, just as I say that, Sam Clark uh, lands that right hand, pushes Pericos back a little bit. Now starting to stalk Pericos again with that right hand. Pericos yeah. with a left hook himself. Oh, yeah, left hook of himself right on Sam's face, and Sam is starting to build a little swelling around the head. Oh, you can't do that, Sam. And he's still punching out. He's punching as the referee is warning him. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he's punching the referee. No, no. <laughs> Let's hope not. That's what Mike Tyson does. <laughs> Let's hope not. He's that Judah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, big right hand from Sam Clark. Digging to the body again. Paracos again now looking a little tired. Come on, Sam. Sam you Clark. can pick it up, Sam. Another pick right it up. hand from Sam Clark. You need to pick it up, Sam, this round. Pick it on up. Put that jab in his face. Sam Dude Clark was, stalking his man. Do what was working for you, Sam. Throw some combinations in. Gets out of there. Not not much coming back from Paracos at this point. You're absolutely right. Wild he's left getting, hand. He's hands. getting roughed all up against the ropes right now, Paracos is. He's still throwing punches off the ropes with Paracos. They're, they're wide, tired punches, though, Julius. You're absolutely right. And I thought that he would be the one that would turn it up this round. He did have a pretty decent start, but he's starting, they're starting to die down, and it looks like uh, Sam is starting to be coming and dropping the bombs and trying to hopefully finish him off. Sam Those are all punches right there adding up for Sam right there. Nice combinations as well. Absolutely. It yeah. might not be that much on it. He's throwing them with, like, oh. less aggression. And definitely his technique is holding up better in this final round. Absolutely. He's not taking so many, Sam's not taking so many overhand rights over the top. I would have to give that round to Sam in the fight to him on this one because he's actually picking it up pretty good. Nice uppercut there. Pericos looking dead tired. Sam Clark hits him with another uppercut and then a left hook to follow up. Oh, a nice left hook over the top. Oh, wow. Nice left hook over the top for Sam. Winging right hand. Loving your work, Sam, in there. Way to keep it up. And variety of punches as well. He's throwing the jab. He's Keeps throwing the hook. That jab. Oh, oh, no, right oh nice hand. right hand. Nice right hand for Sam. Working the body. Uppercuts. Great repertoire from a young amateur fighter. Oh, and he's got a standing eight he's count. He's got the standing eight count for Australia. He's looking very tired. And the referee lets it go on. 10, Ten seconds, seconds to, to go. Oh, yeah, Paracos coming off the ropes pretty hard, trying to win this last round, folks. Wow. Great action last round, I think. Well, I'm not going to say that was a tough one. So. <laughs> I think that's a clear win for Sam Clark. Yeah, I, I think that's a, a clear win for Sam, too. They're getting Sam's gloves off, and um, he should be the one that they raise his hand and give him that amateur victory win to add it to his record. And for an amateur, he, he showed quite a, a, a good punch selection. He had an uppercut. He had work to the body. He had a jab. He had a straight right hand. And he wasn't all wild like Dante Wilder either in there. <laughs> he showed more technique than Dante Wilder. Absolutely. He sure did. This, this was another great fight. We loaded it up to the second fight right now, and this, those are two great fights. First, we had the women in there, and now he had the men in there. And these both of these fights were great fights for the night. I think we're going to see hope. I think this should be a unanimous decision, but let's just wait and see. I, I had it uh, <laughs> the last fight for Camelo, but I think the 10-8 in the last round should do it for Sam. You're right about that. Uh, I'll be surprised if I see a unanimous draw. <laughs> oh, you called it. Look like the judges didn't have that much to drink tonight already, <laughs> so they picked the right. I'm happy about that. The right guy won. Good fight. That was a good fight tonight. I think both fighters learned something from this one. Now we're seeing an interview with the with the winner, the valiant winner, Sam Sam Clark. Thank you.
Well done, Sam Clark. Bring it home for Canterbury and New Zealand. Dominant performance. Australia 2 0 down in this Trans Tasman series. Let's see what happens in the third fight. How'd you like those non, non later non, non, Nike shoes wearing? <laughs> Very good.